Robert Reich. Bill Clinton, Secretary of Labor. And a very bright man economically, in, in the field of economics. Um, and, and a pundit. He has Robert Reich's blog, which I subscribe to. This is what he wrote yesterday. It's very short. As the Democratic Party's so-called moderate wing, or shall we say establishment wing, coalesces around Joe Biden to stop Bernie, the primary contest is starting to look a lot like 2016 when the same wing rallied around Hillary Clinton. Today, when he wrote this, Amy Klobuchar quit the race to endorse Biden. Pete Buttigieg is endorsing Biden, too. As New York Times David Lenhart puts it in his column, quote, if you're a Democrat who doesn't want Bernie Sanders to be the party's nominee, your choice is now clear. You should vote for Joe Biden, end quote. But, Robert Reich writes, suppose you're a Democrat who doesn't want Donald Trump to have a second term. Suppose you're a Democrat who suspects that Trump got elected in the first place because he exploited a deep sense of betrayal felt by tens of millions of Americans whose wages haven't budged in 40 years and who know the system is rigged for the benefit of those at the top. Do you then really vote for Joe Biden? I don't think so. What do you think? Woo! What, what was he, Secretary of Labor? Is that what I said? Yeah, okay. Good question there, Robert. And it, it's become very clear, hasn't it? We've been hinting at this on, on this podcast for some time now. It's got to be Joe Biden or, or Bernie Sanders, obviously. Just like it was Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders four years ago. So what are you going to do? Now, I'm, I'm not suggesting you vote for anybody uh, in particular. I, I am strongly <laughs> suggesting that you vote, for Christ's sake. I've tried to make myself plain or clear four years ago, and, and, and now I will vote for Bernie Sanders in the Georgia primary that comes up in about a week. If Bernie Sanders gets the nomination, I will vote for Bernie Sanders for president. But if Joe Biden gets the nomination for the Democratic Party, I'll be goddamned if I'm going to sit it out and say, well, I can't vote for Joe Biden. I can't. Too many people did that in 2016. Now, I realize Hillary Clinton won by three million votes. That doesn't mean shit. Because we have a system designed to prevent people from getting elected, not to ease the way for them to get elected. The so-called electoral college bullshit, which should be done away with. But I am hoping that the Democrats out there who just simply don't like Joe Biden's policies, I'm one of them. Me. Me. He allowed the credit card industry in, uh, in his home state, in Delaware. And you'll notice something. Let me, I'll finish that sentence in a minute. Delaware is the nest of some of the most vicious financial institutions in the country. And they all operate because Biden has made it very easy for them to be there. Biden voted against consumers when the last big credit card scam presented itself. Biden voted in favor of slaughtering a million Iraqis. And I don't get this. So did Hillary, for that matter. But I don't I don't give a shit about all this. Well, the facts as we knew them, Mike, were horseshit. I could see it was bullshit. Millions of people in this country and around the world could see that George W. Bush's case to invade and commit murder in Iraq was bullshit. Are we to believe that somebody as bright as Joe Biden couldn't see it 17 fucking years ago when he wasn't half senile. So what to do, 
what to do. Cue Dr. Jill Stein. I'm sure she'll pop up out of the fucking weeds here any day now. Hi, I'm running for president again. <laughs> huh? Jill Stein. You remember her? <laughs> no, not Dr. Jill Biden. <laughs> Dr. Jill Stein. Oh, my God. So, my hope, I have nothing to do with this here in my little tiny, teeny, infinitesimal little dot of, of a universe here in the foothills of North Georgia. I have nothing to do with with the real world out there. It's big and scary. I just live here in this little dot. But I would hope that that people who live outside my little dot will vote for Biden if it comes down to Biden-Trump. If you say, fuck it, I'm not doing it again. I'm not voting for the lesser of two evils. Yeah, how many fucking times have I heard that? Huh? That's what gave us George Bush. That's what gave us Donald Trump. Jesus, bleeding Christ. You're going to do it again? I hope not. Now, that's presuming that Biden gets the Democratic Party nomination. If Bernie gets it, okay. Now, there'll be a lot of Biden people who will say, well, fuck him. I'm not voting for, for Bernie. Okay, so the same thing applies to you. Biden may not be your, your man. Bernie may not be your man. I'm getting tired of seeing just old white men run for president. Are you? And I'm an old white man. <laughs> but if the choice comes down to either... Bernie or Trump or Biden or Trump, what are you going to do? Huh? Are you going to take the moral high ground again? So, well, I'm not going to compromise my values. Uh, okay. Didn't you learn from this last go around, booby? That sometimes your there, there are no values in politics anyway. There are values in governance, but there are no values in politics. Are you shitting me? Values? What? Every politician lies, including the sainted Obama. Every politician bullshits. Every politician gets there because they have this enormous goddamn ego that puts them right on the edge of psychopathology. We all know that. But do you want a real psychopath like Trump for another four years? Or do you want a borderline psychopath like Joe Biden or Bernie Sanders? Which one do you want? And I don't mean borderline psychopath as, first of all, it's certainly not a diagnostic statement. And I don't mean it as, 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 as negative. You have to be borderline nuts. Look what these candidates put themselves through. Where was I? Oh, that's right. I was doing my lecture bullshit. Right, Kathy? My lecture bullshit, like I did four years ago, trying to uh, break through to people who might say, well, I'm not, I'm not voting for Hillary Clinton. Not, not, not. <laughs> I'll vote for Dr. Jill Stein. I just have this sinking feeling that something similar to that may happen again. And if that's the case, and we have four more years of this monster in the White House, then you can take your vote for a Jill Stein or your refusal to vote for the lesser of two evils and stick it up your ass because there'll be no place else to put it. And your time of living in a democratic republic will be over. Ended. Hi, Truth Seekers. Mike Malloy here. As you know, we've switched formats and are now broadcast exclusively on the Progressive Voices Network. So that means you get fewer program interruptions, no corporate commercials, and lots of profanity. 
But our format change also means some of our radio listeners no longer hear the program. It's been a while since I mentioned our podcasts, so you may have forgotten that there is a way to listen to this program anytime you need a good dose of screaming. Visit MikeMalloy.com and subscribe to our podcast. You have your choice. You can listen to the ranting with the audio podcast or listen and watch me lose control with a video podcast subscription. As a podcast subscriber, you can download the program to your mobile device and take me with you wherever you go. And if you have a friend who needs a dose of truth-seeking, you can give a gift subscription as well. That's MikeMalloy.com and never miss a minute of the uncensored fun and frivolity.